Tron is a 1982 Disney movie starring Jeff Bridges, Bruce Boxleitner, Cindy Morgan, and David Warner. In it, the character of Flynn is drawn into the computer and forced to fight in a series of gladiator-style arena games. Bally Midway acquired the rights to make a Tron arcade game and boy was it successful. So much so that the game out-earned the movie's initial release. There were tons of Tron video games back in the day, most prominently on the Intellivision. However, there was never a home release of the arcade game. And that's due to the arcade's unique control system of a trigger joystick and a paddle-like Spinner. The only way to play the original game at home is on an emulator, but getting the controls to match up and work can be a complicated proposition. With the new Tron roller coasters opening in Shanghai Disneyland and Walt Disney World, and the recent announcement of a third Tron movie starring Jared Leto, the time is just about right for Arcade 1UP to release a Tron arcade cabinet which should include both the original and the second game called Discs of Tron. In the original Tron arcade game, you start out by choosing one of four stages. By far, the easiest is the Gridbug stage, which is based on a deleted scene in the movie. In it, you use the joystick to move and shoot while turning the spinner to aim at the bugs. Simply shoot as many bugs in your path and enter the beam of light to escape. Typically what I do is hang around long enough as possible to shoot as many bugs that I can. And when I do finally enter the beam, I spin my arm around in a gesture of victory. Doesn't everyone do that? Next is the tank stage where you need to shoot enemy tanks three times to destroy them. Move and shoot with the stick and aim with the spinner. My strategy is to wait right at the center spot where there's a teleporter, and then shoot as many tanks as possible until I have no choice but to teleport. My favorite part of the stage is how your shells bounce off the walls, which I feel is an homage to Atari's combat stage with the bouncing shells. Then there's the MCP Cone stage. Now I always found this one to be a little odd, considering it's not at all like in the movie. Like the grid bug stage, move and shoot with the joystick and aim Tron's arm with the spinner. The goal here is to break the bricks and enter the cone at the top. If you're fast enough, you can destroy all the bricks for an extra bonus. Lastly, there is the most famous stage, the light cycles. I find this one to be the most challenging as well, especially if you're having to play this on an emulator as I did for this footage. Move with the stick and hold the trigger to speed up. As the cycles move, they leave walls behind them, which you can crash into. The goal is to cause your opponents to crash before you do. I remember the two paths to victory that I used. One was the question mark for level one, and then the box for level two, which neither seemed to work while doing it here. Next, Reading. let's talk about Discs of Tron, which was set to be part of the first game, but development ran out of time. Now, I'm not sure if that's true or not, but that's always the rumor that I've heard. Anyway, in this game, you play as Tron in a 3D-esque arena, facing off against Sark in a high li style match. You need to throw your discs to knock Sark off the floating platforms, all the while avoiding the discs that he is throwing at you. You'll regret this! Use the joystick to move Tron and the trigger button to launch up to three discs at a time. <laughs> There's also a new button on the joystick used for blocking, which can come in handy. Aiming is by use of the spinner, and Tron will throw discs toward the target you move on the back wall. More and more challenges appear each time you defeat Sark. More platforms will appear, allowing you to hop between them to dodge enemy discs. Enemy drones will pop up and attack you, and they can't be blocked, only destroyed. And then in later stages, invisible walls appear between you and Sark, meaning you'll have to aim at him using angles, which can be quite challenging. Have you not? <laughs> so 
So what do you think? Should Arcade 1-Up ride the upcoming wave of Tron mania and create a Tron arcade cabinet? Or should they leave it to masterful modders like Glenn Planamento who created this amazing Tron cabinet mod? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you want more content like this, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Yeah, baby. I am the Tron Champion.